cross examination can be mastered if you know the foundation of the cross examination and the foundation of a cross examination or the answer to the foundation of the cross examination is in the expression cross examination itself whenever a witness is in the hot seat which is called the witness box he makes a statement by way of an affidavit or without an affidavit he makes a statement it could be a positive statement or a negative statement i will give both the illustrations but let me start with the positive illustration for example if the witness says i deposited 1 lakh rupees in a bank at a particular time in a particular day if this is the statement made by the witness and the counsel who is cross examining or the advocate who is cross examining the witness want to disprove that statement because that is the only purpose of a cross examining advocate is to demolish the evidence of the witness by one form or the other so the question in the cross examination must be in a negative context i deposited 1 lakh rupees in a bank in a particular time at a particular day is a positive statement and the question must be from the cross examiner must be you did not deposit 1 lakh rupees in that bank on that date at that particular point of time what do you say this is the question that must be asked by the cross examining advocate for that there could be two answers the answer from the witness may be in corroboration to the statement he made earlier that is to say he may still say no i deposited 1 lakh rupees in that particular bank on that particular day at that particular time or he may contradict his earlier statement or he may agree with the statement made by the cross examining advocate now if he agrees with the statement made by the cross examining advocate then the cross examining advocate should immediately jump to the next question there is no point in still prodding with that or still making an enquiry into into that question or that statement of the witness because his statement is gone when he contradicted his uh, own statement because because he made a statement that he deposited so and so amount in so and so bank on so and so date at particular point of time and when he somersaults when he goes back when he repudiates on that statement that he did not deposit in a cross examination if he took a somersault to the statement made earlier in the examination then his uh, evidence is gone there is no point dive deep into that question here the point the score is on the side of the cross examining advocate suppose he says he corroborates if he contradicts the cross examining advocate can move to the next question if he corroborates with the statement made in the examination if he says no no i deposited so and so amount in a so and so bank in so and so time at so and so time on a particular day then if there is material evidence with the cross examining advocate he can confront the witness with the bank statement if there is no material documents with the cross examining advocate he can still has opportunities to disprove the statement of the witness by going deeper into the question like what time did he reach the bank whom did he meet in the bank did he meet the bank manager did he take the acknowledgement slip where is the acknowledgement slip where is the counter file did he file the counter file in the court did he inform anybody about that one lakh where did he get that one lakh so always remember truth is in the detail somewhere or the other if the statement made by the witness is not true you can catch him 
very simple by going deep into the situation or by going deep into the question so this is the foundation of a cross examination and undoubtedly cross examination is a skill which you will acquire only with experience and time and practice and spontaneity it's an art so therefore to master the skill of cross examination you should start from here start like this you must do homework you must prepare you must write different contexts for a question different dimensions for a question in detail because when you prepare you can catch the witness somewhere or the other sometimes you'll be very lucky hope i am clear thank you thanks for watching if you have any doubts kindly comment